Calls. Hi, I'm Pirella from Pirella Eats, and we are talking about conch today, and as the Italian Americans call it, scongili. So this is great because we love conch in my family. We're from Southern Italy and this is like a big thing. Shellfish is our thing. So uh, one of the things that we learned very early on as well is how to pick really, really good shellfish. And good shellfish and fresh shellfish is meant to be bought alive. So we had our little finger poking test as kids when we would go to the fish market and we would kind of poke at the conch or poke at the clams to see that if they snapped shut or if they moved. If they did, you'd buy them. You wouldn't buy them if they didn't move at all because that, that means that they were dead and not good for you. So we have our conch shell here and it looks a little scary. It's a little bit kind of like a gigantic escargot. Um, hear the ocean in it. And um, you want to clean them. They're very, very sandy. So you want to clean them very, very well with a brush right before you put them and boil them in water. You would put about a gallon of water and just depending on how many you have, say you have around four of these or five, then make sure that they're submerged and they come to a boil for about 30 minutes or so. And you can kind of just test to see how soft they are inside. Now remember, this whole thing, conch in general, is a textural experience more so than it is taste. It has a very, very, very mild taste, so it's not going to turn, you know, non-adventurous eaters off um, because it's really about the texture, it's not about the taste. It will take up the taste of anything that you mix it with and dress it with. So once they are boiled, you're going to pull it out just like you do with an escargot, and you're going to chop off the end parts of it um, that you can just throw away the same way you would do an escargot snail, um, and then you'd be left with these kind of front areas here, which is, this is kind of like the mollusk foot here, okay? This is what you got. This is the guy that sticks to the uh, rock right there. At least it's kind of tough, um, but it softens as you cook. And so this is what they look like. They're not very pretty, but I'm telling you, it's going to be very, very delicious. And we use these a lot around Christmas time as one of our fish for the Feast of the Seven Fishes. And you can just go ahead and cut these, and you can put them in a salad alone or in a salad with other fish, like shrimp, um, calamari, anything you like, and you just kind of cut them down like this. And they kind of have a rubbery feel to them, but it is the texture experience that we're looking for. And you would just cut these in cubes as big as you like, and you would just kind of dress them anyway with a little bit of lemon, sea salt, olive oil, very, very simply, and eat them. You know, it doesn't need to be that complicated because, again, it's for those who like it and for that textual experience. And so go ahead. Next time you see these at the market, give it a try.